Okay, so we're an Anglican church um, in a large village just outside Bedford. I guess we're about between 18 and 100 adults uh, on a Sunday morning across to your services, about 20 children. Um, uh, trying to do all the normal stuff that an uh, evangelical church will do in a large village. Well, we're excited to run the course of your life, um, really because in a sense we're a bit, a bit of a turning point as a church. Um, we've got this strap line, knowing Jesus and making Jesus known. Um, and a couple of years ago we realised we needed to, in a sense, look at the next five years um, and ask what, what should our priorities be. And that sort of pitched us into a year of leadership meeting and praying together and thinking about what the vision for the church should be, fleshing that out slightly more fully. And so I was looking for some material that would um, underline the disciple making agenda, uh, give people a sense, yes, I can do this, this is an exciting thing to be part of, it's what we're called to do, uh, and we're all in it together, and then relaunch the midweek groups on the back of that. And that's when I came across the course of your life. I'd read the tra Trellis and the Vine a couple of years ago, and sort of that was in the back of my mind, but I hadn't really made the connection with the course of your life, and I saw it, I just saw the material and thought, this could be the thing. The three elements are, firstly, what they call seminars, which are really uh, meetings uh, of 90 minutes, uh, weekly meetings of 90 minutes, um, with some Bible input um, uh, from uh, Tony Payne, who, um, uh, on DVD, or you could deliver them yourselves. We, we use the DVDs. Um, but actually the heart of those meetings is people sitting around in, in small groups um, and looking at some passages, using a workbook, um, and working on the passages for quite short chunks of time, 15, 20 minutes, and then reporting back. And then quite often the input comes towards the end of the, uh, of the seminar with Tony Payne sort of drawing it together. I suppose until this course I'd never really thought of what God's agenda for us. You know, we're here and he loves us and that's great, but what, what is his ultimate plan? And, and, and talking about that has been really, really interesting and, and has so made us look at different parts of the Bible that I hadn't really explored before. For me personally, you know, I go to work now and I shout from the rooftops that I'm a Christian and, and I'm quite proud of that fact now. Um, and I want everybody to know and I want everybody, everybody else to have that chance to, to get this, this glow that I've got. So yeah, that, that's, that's a big thing that it's brought for me personally. The second component is one-to-one -one Bible study. The expectation is that between each of the seminars, uh, course members will meet up one-to-one. -one. And we just divided, I just divided people up one-to-one, -one, um, gave some thought to which pairings would work and produced the list and said, these are your pairings. There had to be a little bit of adjustment to, to accommodate people's circumstances, but we put everybody into a pair and they read through Colossians one-to-one, -one, again, using the workbook uh, and using questions that are in the workbook and three different um, styles of Bible, Bible study that work, but works you through. So for many people that's completely new. Many people have not done one-to-one -one before, but having a structure and having the encouragement that everybody else is doing it has been quite um, has been extraordinarily um, uh, positive and encouraging for people. The one-to-one -one has been my favourite part of the journey. Um, I'm lucky enough to be partnered with someone who, again, has been going to church for quite a long time and, and has got a lot more experience in reading the Bible. And it's been really great to sit there and have that time over a cup of tea to look, to pray together and discuss the passages. And, and it's made me really think about some of the things I've read. I mean, I read the Bible every day. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. So it's been really, really helpful. The third element we haven't yet got to Towards the end of the course, between the 8th and the 9th seminar, there's an, there's an intensive where the expectation is that you'll spend quite a lengthy chunk of time together, a weekend, two Saturdays, uh, a significant chunk of time anyway, to work through some material which uh, in, tries to cash it all out in practical terms. What does this stuff mean for work, for church, for my personal discipleship, for evangelism? But the, I think the wonderful thing that we're learning now is uh, as, a, as a child you're brought up and you hear stories of, of, of Jesus and his, his crucifixion and everything else but now we're really beginning to understand what it means to us. We're beginning to understand um, the benefit and, and the joy of, of praying and what that means to us. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've learnt quite a lot in, in the last few weeks and we've got a few more weeks to go and I'm really looking forward to it. 
Now that sort of God's with me all the time, it, I mean, it's just fantastic, but it also makes me think more about how I should be living my life, you know. It's great to know God's there and to pray to him, but it's also about how I live my life and how I conduct myself all the time. So it puts God more in everything I do rather than in my prayers or when I'm reading the Bible or when I go to church. It becomes more every day. I think the big thing I'm, I'm hoping for is that people will catch the vision of what God is doing in the world um, and what his purposes are and how we sort of uh, our lives relate to that. It's, it's, it's a very theocentric course. It's Christ-centred, God-centred. Uh, it asks the big questions, the wide-angle uh, questions, um, and then says, well, ask the question, well, how does this, therefore, how does my agenda, my life, relate to God's agenda, rather than starting with us?